Hello, welcome back. Today we're learning what the stretch or the wind up and what the difference is between the two. tells you to pitch from the windup, what he's referring to is starting on the rubber with both feet on the pitching mound, on the rubber of the mound. Your shoulders are going to be square to home plate and we're going to start in this way. It also usually consists of some kind of step either to the side, in front, or in back, moving your back leg and moving into your pitch. There's several different variations. A lot of them ha just have to do with what's comfortable to you and how it affects your pitching mechanics. That's not to be, it's not a big thing to worry about. Today we're just learning about the differences between the two stretch and a wind up. So a wind up will be again, two feet on the rubber, shoulders square to home plate. And we're going to move both of our feet in some manner to deliver the pitch. If a coach tells you you need to pitch from the stretch, that's typically because there's runners on base and we need to be able to defend either stealing or them taking off early or to be able to pick. The stretch, you have one foot already engaged with the rubber and your shoulders are pointed at the home plate. Instead of being directly at them, now we're pointing them at it like we would throw a baseball. From the stretch, we come up, we get set, and then we can pitch. From the stretch, I can do anything until I'm on the rubber. Once I put my back foot into the rubber it's called engaged with the rubber so at this point I become a pitcher and I can't just do anything in order to be able to deliver the pitch I first get my sign and then I come set coming set means your hands stop moving so I can't pitch if my hands are doing that that would be illegal it's called a balk and the runner will go to the next base so in order to, to deliver the pitch, I have to come set, my hands have to stop, and then I can deliver the pitch. Once I am engaged with the rubber, the only way that I can step off and become a fielder again is to remove my foot straight back towards second base from the rubber. So you can do that when you're getting the signs. You can step off and then you can do whatever you need to do. You can also do it once you come set. And that looks like this. So you come set, my hands have stopped, and I step off and then we can start all over again and do what I need to do. You can also step off from the wind up. So the wind up, both feet are on the rubber, my shoulders are square to home plate and maybe there's a runner on and I forgot and my fielders are yelling step off. What that means is I take my right foot, if I'm a right-handed pitcher, I take my right foot and step back. And then I'm a fielder again. And then I can go throw the guy out at whatever base he's headed to.